of, uh, of a place that, that uh, played such an instrumental process of that, you know. Um, I got involved with the Nashville Nine because I was having a cup of coffee at Fido one morning and people were talking about a block of Hillsborough Village being tore down. <laughs> and I was blown away by that. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? A block of this historic district is being tore down. I don't understand that. Now, to give you a little bit of my background, I was on the city council, I was on the fire department, I was on the shopkeepers association, and we're all interested in all these properties on the Nashville Nine, but you know, what does that say to our community when we show pride in it? And what does it say to our younger people? Our younger people have to show, have to have pride in the community as well, and they do that through historic buildings like this and historic areas. You know, we're teaching them as we're learning some of the process ourselves. Now, it's such with it's a heavy heart that I even stand in this building and talk about what we're talking about today. But I think. There's no question of how historic this building is. I mean, we we all know that. That's why we're here. But how does something like this happen? You know, the city council, the planning zone, you know, the the mayor itself. How do how do we even get here? You know, and that is the root of it. So, with that said, I don't want us to. Uh, I don't. You know, I, I I have anger in my heart still. You know, I mean, it's almost like a. a I'm frustrated. They have properties, yeah. they're tearing yeah. them down, and they're building whatever they want to build, whatever their vision is, whatever their vision is, not the community's vision. So you can't really throw the city officials under the bus too much because they don't have the tools in place to work with to manage the problem. Because me coming down here for 13 years, I've seen the growth, we've all seen that, we all love it, we all love the amenities, and that's why people wanna come here. But until the council has those tools, then there's not much we can do about it. So I guess the biggest thing that I'd like to say today is you know, coming from someone that sat on a council before is encouraging the citizens to let the council know you know, give, giving us all a voice on what we want to see as far as creative development. People in the South hold history and family so close to their best. So close, like nowhere else in the country. I, I'm on the road seven months of the year and, I, and when I come home here, when we all pull into this city, it's just, it's magical. And it's magical because of these places, you know. So today is where we plant the flag and we say, okay, council, okay, mayor, this is what we, as a community, want. Not just the people in this room, but what the community wants. And I'm honored to be here, and um, I'm, I'm so glad to see this room full. The last time we did this was at the Bellport, and it was a full house then, and it's something that uh, we need to continue to push for. And here's my partner in crime, we're gonna do this list. Thank you, guys.